and welcome back. Today's event features the Shelby GT500 versus the Camaro. It's old versus new, and it's next on the Diecast Dude Racing Network. Let's take a look at these drivers. First up, it's Matt P driving for Topsy Turvy Autosport and he's in a very good looking 2017 Camaro ZL1. Up next, it's Brother G driving for the Hotcakes Racing Family and he's in the 2020 Shelby GT500. Hotcakes! Up next, Matt P's brother Sam P also driving for Topsy Turvy Autosport but he's in the 1967 Chevy Camaro. And making a guest appearance today at Brick Mountain Speedway, it's Jenny Hayden driving for JC Motorsports, and she's in the 1968 Shelby Mustang GT500. So to start us off, it'll be the Camaros in the outside lane, it'll be the Shelbys on the inside lane, and here we go with Brother G out in front in the yellow 2020 GT500, and he's going to take this race easily, followed by Jenny Hayden, Matt P, Sam P in that 1967 Camaro. Here we take another look as Brother G in the 2020 Shelby GT500 just takes off, takes off really no competition. Jenny Hayden tries her best, but she'll have to settle for second place. A little bumping and shoving going on by Matt P and Sam P. They'll get that worked out for sure. And after race one, it's Brother G in the lead. So here we go already. Race number two. It'll be Matt P and Sam P in the front row. Here they go. They get down into turn number one, and it's going to be Matt P taking advantage of Sam P. A little wrecking going on back there behind him, and it will be Jenny Hayden sliding across second place. DNFs for Sam P and Brother G. Not a good way to follow up that first win, Brother G. Let's have a quick look and see what happens here. Matt P gets down to turn one, executes turn number two very well, and just everybody having trouble getting out of turn two right there. Jenny Hayden, she slides across on her roof, but it gets three points. It's a second place finish, and it'll be Jenny Hayden in first place, followed by Matt P, Brother G, and Sam P. That 1967 Camaro does not look too good on its roof. So, race number three, it'll be Sam P and Jenny Hayden out front. Jenny Hayden, she's going to get a good boost, and Brother G just fell off, and it'll be Jenny Hayden all by herself, followed by Matt P and Sam P, and it looks like we lost somebody, and it'll be Brother G left at the top of the mountain. Here he comes out of the start gate, looks like he hops on the median and loses the car there. Meanwhile, Jenny Hayden, she checks out. Sam P and Matt P, they're still battling back there, and it's Jenny Hayden easily winning adding to her point total. She'll be in first, followed by Matt P, Brother G, and Sam P with a lot of work to do if he's gonna challenge. And he'll be starting on the front row next to his brother. So here we go, race four. It's gonna be Sam P and Matt P getting down in the turn when they're deadlocked, but it's gonna be Sam P pulling away. It's gonna be Brother G and Matt P getting together. And it's gonna be Jetty Hayden dropping off the second level. I'd like to take a look at that one more time. If she came down and she landed on Leonardo there, that's going to be big, big problems. Let's have another look at this replay. As they come out of turn number one, they head down into turn number two. There's chaos behind Sam P and Jenny Hayden hits the bridge and falls down. Here it is again in slow motion, hanging on the edge there and goes over lands directly on Leonardo. He and Donatello out there just having a good old day at the races. And after race four, still anybody's match. And when a 35 grand die cast comes falling and flying through the sky at you, it takes out your favorite Ninja Turtle. It can't end well. Not looking too well for Leonardo down there as they clean up that mess. We are ready for race number five. It's gonna be Jenny Hayden 
in the front row with Brother G. They're going to be neck and neck as they get down into turn number one. It's going to be Brother G getting up to turn two by himself. And they're going to wreck behind him. It's going to be Jenny Hayden and Matt P. Wrecking. And Sam P. will finish in second. Brother G getting down into turn two. They're all together. That's a tight race. Matt P. tries to go around Jenny Hayden. They wreck. And what does that do to points? Well, I'll just tell you. It puts Matt P in first place with 11 points and Brother G tied. They'll have to run this one in overtime and we're gonna get right to it. It's gonna be overtime race one of three. First one to win two, take home the championship and it will be Brother G into turn number one. He's gonna look good, he's gonna turn around and get in reverse and it's gonna leave the door wide open for Matt P who takes advantage, he overtakes the first place. He runs into the camera. I'm I think he ran into the camera. I don't think he hit Steve the cameraman. I think he hit the camera. He finishes first. Brother G trying for the style points a little too soon there. You've got to close those races out. No time for playing. Look at this. Brother G in first place. Decides that he's going to run this one in reverse right here. Matt P sees the opportunity and just slingshots around him. In turn two, down into turn three by himself. Brother G can do nothing now but watch. He tries to get right again, but no, it's too late. Matt P taking the win in race one of overtime. And again, as we see, just barely nicking that camera. So here we go, race number two. It will be Brother G in the outside. It will be Matt P on the inside. Into turn one, it will be Brother G again. This time to turn two very fast, all the way to the finish line. And it would be Brother G tying it up in overtime, one apiece with Matt P. Let's take another look. He gets into turn one cleanly, gets his eyes set on turn number two, and then just finishes the deal. Probably got an earful from his team about that stunt in the last race. So here we go, final race for all the marbles. It will be Brother G on the outside, Sam P on the inside. They're neck and neck. They get down to turn number one. It's gonna be Brother G starting to open up a lead. And can he hold it the whole way? He does in reverse again. And this time, he will win it in reverse. The first Shelby versus Camaro tournament here at Brick Mountain Speedway. Thanks to everyone that helped out with this one. It was a lot of fun. We tracked down the winner, Brother G, as he runs right to the food trucks. Gonna have to lift that mask up there to get that grub. It's Brother G with Hot Cakes Racing Family in the 2020 Shelby GT500 for the win. We hope you consider subscribing as it really helps the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.